Community Trust and this morning we're going to be sharing the story of I do not eat the colour green and that's been written by Lynn Rickard and illustrated by Margaret Chamberlain and published by Wacky Bees Books. So I hope you're ready to enjoy before we do that shall we do a hello song? Are you ready with those waving hands? Here we go. Hello everyone how are you? Hello everyone how are you? Hello everyone how are you? How are you today? Lovely singing, well done everybody. So are you ready for the story? I do not eat the colour green. Shall we find out what happens? Here we go. I am nearly a perfect child. Not too quiet, not too wild, rarely messy and never bold. I mostly do the things I'm told. She sounds very good, doesn't she? And that's the way I've always been. But I do not eat the colour green. Oh, she's looking a little bit cross there, isn't she? She doesn't eat the colour green. And look at all the green vegetables that are around her. But she doesn't eat the colour green. My dad says I'm his honeybee. My granny calls me chickadee. My mum calls me her little elf. I wonder what your mummy and daddy and nannies and that call you. I wonder if they've got a special name. But let me introduce myself. My real name is Marlene McLean. And here she is, looking lovely, isn't she? I do not eat the colour green. Dear, she really doesn't like green, does she? My brother Max likes broccoli. Oh, yum, yum, he says. A tiny tree. He licks his lips and cleans his plates. Ooh, can you see Marlene's face? I think she's looking very happy, is she? How can he like the food I hate? I sit and glare at every bean because I do not eat the colour green. And there's lots of green things on that table, isn't there, that her brother's tucking into. What if you like the colour green? Do you like broccoli? I do. I love red ketchup, purple juice, lemon squash and chocolate mousse. Mm, yummy, yummy. I like them as well. Pink marshmallows, Easter treats, blue and white and orange sweets. And every colour in between. But, are you ready? Are you going to do it with me? I do not eat the colour green. Oh dear, she eats all those other things though, doesn't she? My mum and dad try lots of tricks to make me eat my celery sticks. They promise Toy World shopping sprees if only I will eat my peas. And other times they scream and shout when I've refused to try a sprout. My mum and dad are very mean. I wonder if your mummies and daddies and adults out there try to do little tricks on you to get you to eat your vegetables or things you don't like. I do not, are you ready, eat the colour green. That's right everybody. At parties, when they hand out sweets and cakes and buns and other treats, I check the colours carefully. In case a green one comes at me, I sift and salt each jelly bean. I do not eat the colour green. But can you see she's having a good look through those jelly beans. I wonder if you've got a favourite colour in jelly beans. I have. My favourite colour are the red ones so I eat them first. I wonder about you. At school I never touch the food. The dinner ladies think I'm rude because I always hold my nose and hide behind my best friend Rose. More stinky greens I've never seen. Are you ready to say this as well? Should we do it together? 
I do not eat the colour green. Oh dear, she's hiding there, can you see? She's not impressed. Today, an invitation came in golden script. It spells my name. Inside it reads, please come at two. The Countess is expecting you. We'll send our biggest limousine. Oh, I only hope it isn't green. What colour is it? So that's pink, isn't it? So that's lucky. Phew. Well, she might not have got in it if it had been green. Well, what a fancy place this is. So sparkly. I need sunglasses. And here's a table set for two. I curtsy low. How do you do? The Countess smiles. Do call me Jean. But does she eat the colour green? Ooh, can you see that table full of all those treats? It's rather yummy, doesn't it? I think I'd like to go to that party. But can you spot something green? Can you spot it? It's here, isn't it? Uh-oh, I wonder if she spotted it. The table has a princely spread, a chocolate cake and gingerbread, a big meringue with strawberries and biscuits shaped like Christmas trees. The grandest feast I've ever seen. But wait, I spotted something green. Uh-oh, she's seen them, hasn't she? And you see them over there. They're the green grapes. Just there, beside some velvet drapes, I see a Montrose's bowl of grapes. Oh my, I gasp with giant eyes. Don't they look good? The Countess sighs. She takes a bunch to offer me. What can I do? It's rude to flee. The Countess says, for you, Marlene. I'll have to eat the colour green. Can you see she's going to take one off that plate? Let's see what happens. I wonder if she'll like it. What a shock. It tastes so sweet. How can a green thing be a treat? I can't believe what I've just done. Perhaps I'll have another one. An apple, smiles Countess Jean. Well, fancy that. I do like green. Wow, can you believe all that time? She wouldn't touch anything green, would she? And then, when she did try something green, she found out she quite liked it. I wonder if you have food that you like, and if it's a particular colour that you like, or is there things that you think, oh, I'm not going to taste that, and then you do, and you find you like it. I know there's things that I do, but so I like the colour red, so when I eat jelly beans, I always eat the red ones. I wonder which ones you eat. I will be back again tomorrow with an activity to do with our book so join me tomorrow at 11 o'clock again and i'll see you soon bye everybody have fun bye